Hello everyone and welcome back to another bucket coding tutorial and today I am here to do uh, something I actually have not done before and I wanted to just try it out here there probably will be a mistake or two in how I do this because I haven't practiced or I haven't done anything here uh, but what I'm going to be doing for this episode as you probably see in the title is uh, chat channels and this can be used to accomplish like donor chat and stuff like that uh, so first what we want to do is go ahead and make our main class and our everything uh, the packet utils class from episode 4 go ahead and go over to episode 4 and grab this class and get all these methods because we will most likely use the uh, tab header and footer and possibly the action bar here on what I want to do now what we're gonna go ahead and do is update all of our info here uh, update the plugin.yml to have all your new stuff here and now what you want to do is we're going to be using an event today so we're going to do event handler and public void on chat and it's going to be an async player chat event e and there you are sorry for the clicky keyboard uh, did i spell that right probably not uh yeah no mm. uh now i did realize something you don't have to uh import craft bucket dot 1.8 if you're already importing spigot dot 1.8 because it all has the same libraries and it'll duplicate it for you if you uh, do it that way uh so now we want to make a few array lists here we're gonna do array list player uh we're gonna say default this new array list, list and player and there you go i am using java 1.7 oh what oh that's okay i'm just gonna do one i'm not gonna do anything else apparently default is a what what, what, what do you want oh did i okay private why is it why are you doing this uh i'm just gonna name it O. Oh, can I, I apparently you can't name it numbers that's weird um i'm just gonna name it one like that then we're gonna go ahead and get this one here and copy it down we're gonna make this two actually no i'm gonna do uno <laughs> dos and i'm probably gonna spell this wrong trace <laughs> i don't know why I, i'm in the mood for spanish stuff um so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to make a new system of chat here uh, so what we have to do is we have to e dot set cancel true just right away. We're not going to be using the default Minecraft chat. It, we can make it look like the default Minecraft chat, uh, but it's not necessary. So we can go ahead and have this set up here. This means I can't do any chat formatting stuff in the future with the plugin. I might make a separate video on it, but I can't run this plugin anymore um, on that. Well. No, actually, what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna go ahead and check um, if the okay. We're gonna go and reference our player here. So player p equals e dot get player. Do I have to okay, no. So we just do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and say if uh, uno dot contains p. Uh, then we're gonna do that. We're gonna return, and then we're gonna copy all this down twice more. We're gonna say if dose and if trace so if uno the array list uno as defined up here uh has the player inside of it or this player inside of it and a skype message there uh then what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to say e dot set cancel true and we're going to have this in all of them and there you go so it, so this this allows us to use the normal chat feature um, just regardless of any of this stuff because I kind of want to do a chat formatting tutorial soon uh, but that's beside the point um, now we want to go ahead and do is on chat we're gonna say uh, well first of all what we're gonna do is we're going to make a, a task here so on the enable we're gonna get the scheduler we're gonna schedule it I don't know I don't think I've done anything with um, uh, tasks at all uh, so now oh not runnables uh, so now what we're gonna go ahead and want to do is create all this public void run and there we go so we're gonna go ahead and get the scheduler here 
and we're going to go ahead and schedule a repeating task uh, run by this this main class if you're using this in another class uh, you need to have a, a way to get the instance of the main class I won't go over that in this video because that's a little advanced not really but I'm just not gonna go over that in this video uh, so go ahead and fill out all this information we're gonna declare this and then we're gonna say what it is so a new runnable and import that from where is it I don't know yeah you don't have to import that I believe I think it's just a Java thing. yeah just a Java thing uh, and then right here this is how long you want to wait before starting this task so right as this line of code gets executed we're gonna go ahead and say all right uh, do this and then it's gonna check okay this is how long this is how many how, how many ticks we're gonna wait to start this task so I just wanted to start right off the bat here um so and then it's gonna run every uh it looks like uh one second here so we're gonna say every probably three seconds because we don't want to lag out the server too badly here and kill our entire server so we're gonna do for uh player p colon bucket dot get online players and there we go now we're gonna go ahead and say okay so we're gonna copy all this down and we're gonna remove this so every three seconds this is going to get called um, so if they're in uno um, okay yeah so if they're in uno what we want to do is we want to do packet utils dot send action bar to p we're going to have this message uh, I got a message on my email oh. from an airline company yuck <laughs> Uh, okay, so now what we're gonna do if we if this player is in Uno, we're gonna go ahead and make a gold chat. We're gonna say you are in chat channel uh, and then Uno. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this over and probably change the colors a bit. And uh, I'm gonna change this to maybe purple. So we're gonna go ahead and say, uh, Uno do is it? Do I don't know. I think it's that. If I'm wrong, correct me. I'll figure it out. Uh, so Uno knows trace. Um, yeah. So these are our chat channels here. Obviously, you're not gonna have Uno knows trace. Like, who would do that? To be honest, that would be uh, that would be kind of weird. Um, so yeah, we have this method set up. So every three seconds, it's gonna loop through and check uh, where people are. And right here, if they're not in any of these channels, we're just gonna say, "You are not in a chat channel." And there we go. We're gonna make this in a red color here. And there we go. So we have our method of uh, just letting them know what chat channel they are. Uh, so down here, what we wanna do is. Okay, um, so now what we're doing it here is we're saying if the play if the player is in the chatting channel Uno or in the list Uno, then we're gonna go ahead and do all this. So we're gonna set the the message canceled here. Now what we're gonna do is for player p colon Uno. I believe we can do it. Do this. Uh, player Uno, un. I'm just gonna do un. So everyone that's in Uno, we're gonna we're gonna do stuff for. Uh, so now we're gonna do is okay so dot okay so send message so whenever someone chats we're gonna do it like this we're going to say this plus uh, p dot get name and this means we're not gonna have a fancy chat system but it really doesn't matter it's just gonna be the default minecraft one uh, get message so we're gonna say uh, in like default minecraft style we're gonna just do this now, if they're in uh, Uno, we're gonna go ahead and copy this right here. We're gonna say Uno colon. Then we're gonna make this symbol and do and R. Uh, we could do and F, but I like doing and R. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and just copy all this down and change it up a little bit. And we're gonna say if they're in the chatting channel dos or trace, then we're gonna go ahead and say and a dos probably said that really badly um hold on and i think i'm just gonna name the uh default chat channel to global so whenever someone chats after all this we're just gonna put them in a global format something like this 
uh, and we're not using our prefix, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, trace. All right. So it's gonna have the default Minecraft style, except for the this thing in here, and it's only going to send to people in that chatting channel. I can probably demonstrate that with two accounts or something. Um, so now what we're gonna do is just everyone else. Uh, if they're in global, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, for player all colon bucket dot get online players, uh, because this is going to be for everyone. If they're not in a chatting channel, they must be in global, obviously. Uh, so now we're going to do all dot send message. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to copy all this down here. Oh, did that wrong. And oops. is that good now? Come on. Oh, hold on, everyone. I'm just gonna copy this. Come on now. There we go. Told you there's gonna be mistakes. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and say in and C global, and we're gonna do it like that. Looks like I'm gonna expand with sky messages. <laughs> oh man, I hope it's not urgent. Um, now what we're going to do is, so if they're doing a command that is episode five, well, actually, no, we're just going to do Uno, Dos, and Trace because I don't want to get into too much, uh, in detail here for just command arguments because I'm tired. <laughs> I need to edit this and get to sleep. Uh, okay. So if they're, if they type in these commands here, uh, then we're going to just do player dot, uh, okay, no. What we're gonna do is we're going to say if the command is you know then we're gonna add and player player and player dot send message uh, we can just do prefix not main dot prefix and then we're gonna oh this has to be IG prefix don't know why I ever do that um, added to channel you know and then we're gonna do that again and again and we're gonna change this to dose and trace now we're gonna go ahead and get down into this and say host dot add and then we're just gonna do trace dot add and well what we're gonna do is return true and return true just so we can do this one last thing here turn true and then if they're not in any of this then we're just going to uno dot remove player uh, and then we're gonna do trace dot remove uh, player and dose dot remove player looks like we have that down I'm gonna go ahead and change our commands here so we're gonna do uno and oh come on dose and come on trace and that should be it here um we're actually gonna change this to probably you are in chat channel global yeah no let's just not do that so i'm gonna go ahead and set up this plugin and fix any errors that there might be and i'll be right back Alright everyone, there was one, two minor errors here. Uh, change 60 to 40 right here because that makes it a little weird. And right down here, you have to add e.set cancelled true uh, right before this all thing. Because I realized if we're going to have a global chat, we can't have the default Minecraft chat do that. Uh, now, it's going to say you're not in a chat channel constantly it looks like. And now if we type a dot, it says global. And now if we do help episode 5. We do dose. Now we're yeah, you can see you are in chat channel dose, and now if we go ahead and do slash Uno, and we're in chat channel Uno, and it changes not um, not at the speed I would like it to. So what you can actually do to fix that is you could uh, when they do that, what we're gonna do is when they get added here, we'll just put this message. Uh, we'll do, we'll just add send them the action bar right away, 
and then what we can we can just fake the fake the fact that they're not in the loop yet and at the rate it goes it should be able to pick up um, like if so, if someone changes chat channels it should sense that and then send them all this pat all these um, action bar packets and such and it'll make it look like they've automatically been added so if we do slash reload it, it puts it in global right away when you reload the server that's because we used array lists uh, now if we do slash uno again it looks like it right away we can type dot and we do dose oh did we seriously yeah that's what I thought uh, we actually have to go through and do all these here yeah there's just just some small mistakes that aren't really too important here just need to make sure that they're being removed from chat channels upon yeah so you can see basic mistakes here that I make just because I didn't plan the episode out at all um, but they're really small mistakes and they really don't matter so we can go ahead and move this minecraft back we type a dot we're in global type dos we're in dos and then we can go to our dose we can do that and then if we do slash trace or in trace you can see now it does that the color codes don't uh, correspond that's because I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to go back right now and export it again but you can see that it just it just works like you can see uh, if we actually well there is no way of removing it <laughs> because I forgot to add that but if we reload the server uh, it'll do that if we could add slash global but I mean that's just basic stuff that we really don't need or really care about uh, so <coughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode of bucket coding there should be more to come uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode please comment down below what you would like to see for bucket coding and just series in general for me and I will see you guys all again next time take care